Yo, what's going on, guys? Previous here. Thank you for watching my video. Now I've made a tutorial um, <clears throat> on how to do this, but the video, man, I don't know what's going on with Camtasia. Um, this is a cracked version of Camtasia, also, and it's just been messing out, messing up on me. <clears throat> so, what I'm gonna just do? Well, that's not the script. Um, I've <clears throat> made this apple. And I'm just gonna give you guys the code and explain how this apple works, um, because you know the video messed up. Uh, but anyways, all right. <clears throat> so first off, create an apple. So here's what I did. I created a sphere. Just made it red. Uh, anchored. Keep that off. And let's just create two of these like that. All right. That's just gonna be a simple, simple apple. I just added a little uh, brown part in the middle to be like the stem, but this is good now what you want to do is click on model click on union and you should have your apple um, now you can just scale it down <clears throat> alright uh, let's change this smooth plastic alright so this union let's name that union apple alright oops alright <clears throat> so what we're trying to do oh, also I forgot to show you guys uh, <clears throat> and I removed it but anyways um, this one guy was saying uh, how to uh, be able to make food on the ground and you can pick it up <clears throat> so picking up food off the ground so that's why I'm making an apple but you can make whatever you want alright so next let's uh, right click workspace insert objects tool now let's take the apple and put it in the tool. Let's rename this tool <clears throat> Apple. Alright. Now what we're gonna do, we need to make a part to where you can click on it. Um I, I'm sorry, no no no. Since this is gonna be a tool, we want whenever they click the player clicks on it, we want for the player to actu actually have this apple in their hand. So to do that, you could just rename this part right here handle because <clears throat> whenever you have a tool you should always have a part named handle because handle is gonna be where is gonna be like attached to the player's arm the character's arm sorry um, so you could just name this handle but we're gonna make a separate separate part so I'm just gonna duplicate this by doing control D I'm gonna separate <clears throat> we get these two parts um, no I'm not I'm just gonna create a block part <clears throat> and just kind of resize it to where it's right where it like surrounds the apple or your piece of food and then change the transparency to one all right now drag this part inside of the apple and make sure to rename this part <clears throat> handle oh handler I meant handle without the R all right there we are alright so now <clears throat> um, let's we can insert a script inside of the apple so insert object scripts alright so I'm not gonna re-script this cuz I already took so much time <clears throat> but <clears throat> oh first off okay so here's our apple uh, what we need to do is get a plugin called motor 60 welding so you're gonna go to manage plugins and then you should see a button called find plugins is gonna be like right here and then you go to the search box and you look up motor 6d welding and then once you install that plugin just restart your studio just start it back up <clears throat> and you should have something like this um, now what we need to do is weld these two parts because we want these parts to be welded together so you just select both of those and press this one right here and welded one part <clears throat> So here's the weld. Um, all right. So we also need a inside of this Apple Union. <clears throat> we also need a click detector because we want to be able to click on that uh the piece of food. <clears throat> all right. So let me go into this other Apple and just copy this code. Yep, and that's a short piece of code, huh? Yeah, it sure is. All right. So I'm gonna explain it. <clears throat> So, our accomplishment 
is to make a piece of food, which we did. So we have the piece of food right here, apple, okay? So we insert it into a tool and we just have a handle um, so that way we can pick it like a, so that it is, can go, like be attached to our hand. Because if we didn't have anything called handle, it would just <clears throat> appear like right here. The apple would just appear right here every time we equipped our tool. <clears throat> um, so once we click on the apple, that's what we uh, the click detectors for. Because a click detector allows us to be able to click on a part. Um, also, if you didn't know, max activation distance. This is how many studs away you have to be to be able to click on the part, the parent of the click detector. And so once we click it, it's gonna check if if there is an if they don't have anything inside of the <clears throat> player's backpack called Apple. So if there's nothing, then it's gonna clone into the player's backpack. Um, so okay, let's get to understanding what we're doing here. So here's the script. It's inside of Apple. So Apple local Apple equals script dot parent. Now, if you don't know what script is, script is just <clears throat> the object you're in. Like you're in the script right now, so you just say script dot parent because the parent of this script is Apple. And the children of Apple is well click detector and script. These are the children of Apple. So, so local CD. So CD is just gonna stand for a click detector. We do Apple, which this is Apple dot click detector because we want to get this click detector that's inside of Apple. So that's just to find the objects. And there's an event called mouse click inside of a click detector. So CD dot mouse click. So this event fires whenever you click pretty much your mouse. I mean this is explains it pretty much. And then we connect it to a function. Um also apostrophes, colons, parentheses, all symbols, they matter. So make sure you have like a colon, lowercase c also and connect. Some of you guys put a capital. Excuse me. Alright. Then you put player in here because player is a parameter. Now that might be kind of confusing. But uh <clears throat> anyways, local BP. BP is just gonna stand for backpack. So we get the player, and then we get the player's backpack. Let me show you what I mean. Alright. Inside of a player, which this is our player right here, there's something called backpack, which our tools are stored in here. <clears throat> That's what that is. Let's go back to the scripts. So we have a variable that just access backpack, and then we check with the if statement. So if <clears throat> not, which not just changes the boolean. So let's just erase not. So if BP, which is the backpack, find first child. Find first child is just gonna find the object of Apple. So it's gonna find Apple. Then it clones. So what this is saying is if there's something called Apple inside of the backpack, then it's gonna clone, which it won't even clone. It's gonna print A because there's nothing whenever we first join and we click on it, there's nothing gonna be called Apple inside of backpack. So that's why we changed the Boolean. So if there is not something in the backpack that is called Apple, then this will run now. It should not <clears throat> print else on the first time we click it. Um, because there's nothing called Apple on the first time. Whenever we join, there's nothing, there shouldn't be anything called Apple. So it's going to print this. I mean, sorry, it's not going to print. It's going to run this. <clears throat> and then there, you have an Apple. Um, but then if you click on it again, go on if you click on it again this whole function is gonna run again so it's gonna get the players backpack and then it's gonna check again if there is not something called Apple then but there is something called Apple now so it's gonna move right on to the else and it's gonna print a that's pretty much it um so we can test this out and make sure it works I'm gonna make sure I click on the right Apple which is this one open up backpack click on this <clears throat> okay, what is going on? 
Apple hmm weird it's not letting me click on it <laughs> it's not even showing the <clears throat> little icon thing it shows right here but it doesn't the heck nope oh, I inserted that on accident click detector oh uh, no with the freak um That's so weird. I'm not seeing any difference. And inside of this, you don't really need a touch interest. Uh, I don't even know what that really is. So everything should be the same. Apple. The handle. Hmm. Apple. Click detector. Uh, guys, okay, I see the problem. Here's the problem. Um, I just realized, uh, handle is blocking the way of being able to click on this, the apple. So, what we need to do is just resize. So, click on the handle right here, and then resize it to where it's inside of the piece of food. Um, now, if you cannot, <clears throat> if your piece of food is, like, really small, and the the part like this little invisible part can only go a certain size what you want to do click on uh apple with well your piece of food not the handle resize that click on the handle and just uh now try to like put it in the very center and then um what you're going to need is a plug in called model resize which uh let's see I'm actually gonna get the plug in ooh thirteen minutes wow at least I can hopefully explain stuff good to you guys. But anyways get a, a model it sh might be on the front or second page it's a model resize plugin. Um but just get this model resize plugin only if you know you had to do this extra step of like having a resize and it wasn't fitting in uh, but I'm just gonna redo like that <clears throat> and it should work oh and also hold on if if you did resize your apple if you did it's gonna break the weld so what you're gonna have to do is just cl click both of these weld it back together and you should be good but hey let's test that out okay now we can click there we have an apple as you can see you can't get it again but here's the apple amazing right yeah pretty nice well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Adios.